Before I begin, I want to thank Sean O'Donovan for discovering that the word brethren is printed 22 times in Shakespeare's first folio. Recently, I found an acrostic spelling of twice 11 brethren in the 1611 King James Bible, and believe that this may have been a nickname used by a Masonic-type organization that included members like Edward de Vere, John Dee, and Francis Bacon. 22 is twice 11, and the fact that brethren appears in the first folio 22 times is no coincidence. It was suggested by Alexander Waugh that I might want to examine the dots or points found on the sonnet's dedication page. On the right is what the page looks like with the words removed. I thought maybe that the dots should be connected, revealing a shape, but initially when I tried that, nothing significant turned up. I went online and found a Francis Bacon site where they had the same idea of connecting the dots. Thing is, it was a complicated solution that, and I'm not criticizing it, but it didn't make any sense to me. Anyway, the one idea I did take away was to space the dots out evenly. It's the same number of dots per line, they're just evenly spaced. Wa has a video where he rotates the page revealing Edward de Vere's funerary urn. I did the same thing and was then able to start drawing. Once the dots are connected, there's a letter Y, two crosses of an X and a T, and a shape which almost looks like an iota eta Christogram, with letter I in the middle of an H. I'll explain more about this in a minute. The letter Y, and I believe this goes back to Middle and Early Modern English, is called a thorn and was used in printing for the letters TH. Think of Ye Old Restaurant or whatever. Now like I've shown in my previous videos, TH stands for Templum Hierosolima and is used to make these symbols of Freemasonry. Also with Gematria, the letter Y is equal to 22, or twice 11. Next are the two crosses. In Monus Hieroglyphica, John Dee explains how these crosses are made. One is shaped like an X, the other like a T or tau. With Gematria, X equals 21 and T equals 19. Added together, we get 40, De Vere's code number. The last shape, which does look like an iota eta Christogram, has a line at its base. I think this represents the three crosses on Golgotha, or the hill known as Calvary, where it's believed Jesus was crucified between two thieves. Something else to consider is that there's 30 dots total, with the repeated count 30 equals the letters GG. In videos 2 and 9, I explain how the initials on the dedication are printed so as to resemble two taus or two gammas. By doing this, I believe it connects God and De Vere because the two G initials represent God and Jesus, and the double tau initials represent Edward De Vere, explained in video 14. So what we have are four different types of crosses. A Y is a thorn or a TH which can make a triple tau. There's an X and a T and then there's the iota eta Christogram. Y is equal to 22 or twice 11, and the X and T-shaped crosses, like from Dies Monas, added together equals 40. And here the iota eta symbol is drawn to represent the three crosses of Calvary. There's 30 dots total, and 30 equals GG, or God and Jesus, with the repeated count. Honestly, I don't know if that's the way the dots are to be interpreted. That said, there may be one more number encoded here. The numerical values of the letter shapes are y equals 22 or twice 11, and the x and t crosses are 21 and 19 equaling 40. If we then add up the number of dots of the image below, there's 17. So we have 1740, Edward de Vere's Erlen code number, and 22 for the twice 11 brethren.